Hi there, it's Rob. Uh, welcome to the first of a series of tutorials on using the Magic Cue uh, to record uh, and play back your show and some orientation um, for, for uh, work finding your way around the desk. Okay, so this is the, the Magic Cue here. Uh, this touch screen um, is, a, is a central part of the desk and includes uh, a large amount of the control and how you can uh, view information as well as on the two other touch screens and also how you can manipulate information um, there's spreadsheets and grids um, there's a grid on here at the moment you can't quite see but there's kind of uh, basically buttons soft buttons uh, on the grids here along the top is a series of lit up buttons and they correspond to the uh, the soft buttons that are along the top of the desk now these change uh, depending on what you're doing, which window you have open and what you're doing, the soft buttons here change. Uh, so, and basically you can press the screen but the buttons are there to perform uh, a similar function with a bit more of a tactile surface. So there's the soft buttons there. Similarly, along the side of the screen, there's also soft buttons here. So there's buttons that increment uh, various attributes and stuff. Um, and change between um, between different things, um, and there there are two sections. These buttons have a top section and a bottom section, and these uh, these uh, real live hardware buttons also correspond to them. The wheels also correspond to the the, the different areas. Along the bottom of the screen here um, is ties up with the playbacks, which are below the screen. Um, so there's information along the uh, along the squares along the bottom of this screen, um, telling you the name of the queue and various uh, things that you uh, things that relate to those playbacks. So it's almost like um, like marking it up with a piece of tape. You you have a, a strip along the bottom, and all of your titles of your uh, queues or your states or whatever go along there. So that's the screen. The screen is a touch screen, so it needs to be looked after. The other thing up here is there's two buttons. Uh, basically, you can't see this is the light here, but behind it and also on the other side, there's also uh, two uh, shift and control buttons. They're quite useful. And there's one on either side so that depending on which hand you're using to manipulate the touch screen, the shift and control buttons do some, some similar things to how they, they, they do on a, on a computer. Um, so you hold them down and then press other stuff. So it's kind of quite a tactile area of the desk, this. The large encoders here, X and Y, relate to these two areas on the screen. And as well as being intensity of the dimmers, they also relate to pan and tilt um, of the moving lights, um, if you're using moving lights. So uh, one of them will say down here, pan or tilt, and, and then that's what those two relate to. They're slightly larger. So that's the touchscreen area. And also um, related to that, the bottom of the touchscreen is also related to the playbacks here. Each playback uh, can be either a individual cue or it can be a stack of cues, so a bit like a normal theatre stack of series of cues. Um, and they all and each has a selection button along the top, which is the S button, and uh, also a play button each and a pause button each. At any one time, you have a particular page of these stacks up. So there's a whole load of pages. Um, so what you want to make sure, the page number's down there, you want to just make sure you're, if you can't find the stack that you think you're uh, working on, you may well be on the wrong page. Um, you can do next page and previous page to find. Uh, page one's always a good place to start. The left-hand side, we also have the dead uh, blackout button, the, the blackout button, and also uh, the, the grand master. And there's also a, a grandmaster that runs just the subs. So runs is basically a master for all these playbacks here. Because as well as these playbacks, the Magic Cue has a number of other ways that it will uh, playback cues. So uh, these, this, these aren't the only sort of outputs. And there's also um, other executors as well, which um, can playback cues and stuff. OK, so on the right hand side, we've got the command line entry uh, keypad. So you can type in uh, numbers, you can call up channels and you can do through and minus and all of those things that you tend to do on a theatre lighting console, channel one at full, channel two at full, all that kind of thing. Next to that, we have some arrow keys just to navigate around some of the spreadsheets and the screens. There's a number of ways of navigating around the screens. Um, and just above it is a, a kind of a, a home and end set of keys, a bit like on a PC. Above the keypad, there's a load of action buttons. So the main action button being record, uh, that's the one where you record your cues. Um, and the other ones being move and copy and remove. Remove is basically delete um, and undo and set and various things. So they, they kind of create, perform actions on things. 
Next to it, we've got another shift key. We've got uh, the blind key, which uh, something that you don't necessarily use a lot, but uh, to put the desk into blind mode so you can record uh, and make changes whilst not seeing the output on stage. Uh, and the backspace key. A backspace key is important because when you make a mess of uh, your typing channel 1 through 40 at whatever, um, you can backspace that, uh, backspace along there. That appears, what you type into the command line with the keypad appears down at the bottom of the screen here. So these buttons, uh, these buttons kind of uh, do important things. Uh, clear is, is probably the most important button on this little panel next to the backspace, and that uh, we'll look at that in more detail another time. Starting at the top now, we have a set of window control buttons. Now, the active window on the Magic Q is the one that has the sort of solid uh, title bar, and that's the window that you're working on. That's the active window, which means that the, all the soft buttons relate to that window, and also these buttons here, which change the size and the position of the window, um, that they relate to that active window. You can also change the active window. You can change the active window by either pressing within the window or calling the Windows uh, button from here. So if you're in the uh, want the programmer window active, you can even if you can see it on screen, you can hit programmer, and it will make that window active. If you want to make the programmer screen fill the screen, you can hit programmer and then hit the max button. So uh, there's so you can change the size and position. And the reason for that is is that like a lot of modern lighting consoles you can set up the screens on the Magic Q how you like. So you can set up your main screen and also your additional screens, um, uh, the, the external screens, exactly how you want. You can also save those views and rec recall them um, so that you can uh, use them again. So it's quite a good, you can set up a number of different screen looks depending on what you're doing, whether it be playback or whether it be recording or whether it be setting up of effects or whatever. Um, and so then you can recall those screen looks um, straight back again so that everything's laid back out how you want it to be. So as I alluded to there, the buttons under here, there's some blank buttons which they uh, use for um, additional uh, additional functions further uh, further into the uh, further on in the console. Um, and then the, the buttons below here uh, are for the windows. So if you hit setup, you come to the setup window. And the most important part of the setup window probably is the save show button. So you can hit setup. Uh, one of the soft keys appears as save show, and that's uh, that's where that is. So if you have got to a certain stage and you want to want to save your show, that's where it is. Let's just quickly talk about how you boot the desk and how you shut it down. Now, if you turn the desk on at the back, there's a, a, a switch on the right-hand side next to the power inlet, which looks like a blue speedcon connector. It's called a powercon connector, and it's a, there's a switch there, and if you hit that switch, the desk starts to boot. Uh, it's a Linux-based uh, operating system, and so that it boots, and eventually it'll ask you if you want to continue show. So you boot the desk, and it, and it comes on. When you've finished with the desk, um, basically what you do is you go to Setup, and I'll show you here on the software. When you want to close down, if you go to Setup, and there's a Quick button there, so the quit button's up on the top right hand side of the screen, which is that one up there, and you hit quit, and basically it, it takes a while, the screens go black and it tells you that it's shutting down and it does a load of stuff, um, and basically eventually uh, it will shut itself off. There'll be a click from the switch and it will turn itself off. So that's it in terms of the front panel and what, you can, what, what you've got control over. Um, in, in future screencasts, we'll look at the individual attributes of the software and um, things that you can do and get you up and running on your shows. See you then.